Welcome back to Debris Day, guys. We finally got main working. Stay tuned, we'll show you how to do it. Okay, guys, let's get into it. We've got Hyperspin installed. Um, now we need to go and decide what emulator we're going to go to install and use. So, this video is about installing MAME or multiple arcade machine emulator. First things we need to do is go and get the actual emulator from the web. So, we go onto our Google homepage and we go on uh, MAME download. And if you see MAME latest MAME release, MAME dev, click on there. Um, I'm on a 64-bit version of Windows, so I need a 64-bit version of MAME. Now, the one thing to note here is the version uh, 0191B. Some emulators, you have to have the same version of the ROMs as the emulator, as you do with MAME, some you don't. So we're going to download uh, MAME 0191B. I'll just download it to my normal directory, uh, Hyperspin Core, wasn't it? There it is, Hyperspin Core. Save that. That'll just take a second or so to download. And then what we're going to do, we're going to uh, unpack that or install that into the emulators directory under our um, uh, Hyperspin uh, installation directory. So I'm just going to uh, do that now. So I'll close this window off. Make sure that's completed to be downloaded. That's right. There we go. Close that off. Uh, now I go into our Hyperspin directory. You can see there's a folder here called emulators. So I go into there. I'm going to make a new folder. Um, and we're going to call that name. Um, and what we'll do, I'll just double check the version of that. Um, name 191B. So we'll, we'll call it that, I think. Just in case there's a new version or you've got other versions of the main emulator with other versions of the ROM. Um, open up that. I like to just drag it into there, dead easy. Uh, and then you can just extract it into here. So to extract it, you just double click it, click on extract. And populate it all and there we go uh, just take a few seconds to extract it once we've extracted it I'll just move this uh, executable file back into my hyperspin core so in the future if I do want to uh, install it on another computer or I want to install it onto another drive I can really really straightforward uh, as you see it just takes a few seconds to extract and then what we'll do after that we'll just pop that back over to there uh, this is remember our core directory where we're keeping all of our main files what we now need to do is go back into Rocket Launcher and port point Rocket Launcher at this main directory. So if you remember, Rocket Launcher is like the engine and it knows where all of the uh, all of the emulators are. MAME is one of those emulators. So we will go into Rocket Launcher UI and start that up. And it takes a second, as we know. And then what we will do, we will go and find uh, under the global um, emulator section, we will find MAME. So under global, uh, we need to find uh, the main uh, emulators. There it is, can find it. There it is. So global and emulators. And we go down here to find main. Uh, there it is. Now, anything with a red uh, exclamation mark beside it means it doesn't know where it is. So these are all of the emulators that you can have uh, for um, Hyperspin for Rocket Launcher. Now, we want main. So as you can see here, MAME's all red, so you can either click on this little button here, edit selected emulator, or just, just double click it. What we need to do, we need to change the path. So our path's going to all over the place. So if we do a search, now if you recall, uh, it was on the desktop, um, we installed it into the Hyperspin directory under emulators, under MAME 0191B, which is our version, and we look for MAME 64. Open up that. Um, the ROM extensions are for uh, when you get ROM packs, um, they can come compressed, so you don't uncompress them. So they're in a 7z or a RAR file or a zip file, these are quite common uh, common files. Um, don't change those, leave them as is, as default setting here. Um, and we will then close up that. And as you can see, MAME no longer has the red exclamation mark, which means it will work. Okay, so that's uh, that's Rocket Launcher uh, actually configured. Dead easy. You can do some other uh, more detailed uh, items on, on MAME. Um, but what we're going to do next is uh, put a couple of ROMs into a ROM directory, configure MAME to look at that ROM directory, and then fire up MAME uh, manually first. Then we'll fire up MAME through Hyperspin. Okay, guys, um, now that we have MAME configured in Rocket Launcher, uh, we've downloaded the, uh, the executables. We now need to decide where we're going to put our ROMs. At the moment, um, if I just show you the directory structure, under Hyperspin, Emulators, 
name, we have a ROMs directory. Now, what I do, which is a very simple way of approaching this, is that you have the ROMs under the emulator that you're working on. So in this example, we've got the MAME 0191B, and we've got the ROMs directory under there. We can have another version of MAME here, say MAME 017, and inside there you can have ROMs associated with that version of MAME. Now you've got to remember that the ROMs are specifically for that version. So we've already got ROMs directory here. Um, I'm not telling you where to get your ROMs from, you can source them yourselves, but I'm just going to drop in a couple of example ROMs in here and make sure they work. So we'll come back in just a second. We also need to set in here um, the default emulator. So we come to main, click on the emulator tab which is already highlighted, and click on search. And we want to use main as our default emulator. Um, click on main, add that. So, so oh, that's already did it. Uh, main is now our default emulator. Once you set the uh, default emulator to main, we need to tell uh, Rocket Launcher where the ROMs are. So we click on the uh, the plus sign there. If you remember, it was on the desktop. Uh, it was under Hyperspin, uh, under Emulators. And we have gone for main. Oh, it's already open. And then we've gone for the ROMs directory. Click on OK on that. Uh, and that's us now configuring uh, the Rocket Launcher part of the configuration. Um, next thing we want to do is audit the games in there so Rocket Launcher knows what games we can play. Okay guys, now you've got the ROMs path configured for your emulator. Um, we now click on the uh, games tab up here and we need to go to the system audit tab which is already highlighted and we need to audit the games for the system. So we'll go off and look at our database. Anything in Reddit can't find, but I'm hoping uh, when we go down to G, uh, we'll be able to find our gauntlet games and it should be green. Uh, yeah. Gee, uh, there we go. So all of the Gordon games that he's found are in green, which is great, which is the list I put in there. So let's just summarize where we are, guys. Um, we installed a configured Hyperspin the other day. Um, we installed a configured Rocket Launcher the other day. We now have installed our emulator. And in this example, we're installing MAME 0191B. And we've confirmed that that works. We've uh, confirmed where the ROMs directory path is, and we've installed some ROMs into there. We've gone into Rocket Launcher UI and we've done an audit of the games. Uh, all of the Gauntlet games which we're using for this demonstration are green, which is fantastic. Um, the only thing we need to do now is uh, try and run uh, Hyperspin so we get a lovely pretty front end, which then should launch uh, any of the um, emulators that we choose. So in this case, it would be MAME. Um, in MAME, we have confirmed that the emulator, default emulator, is MAME. We've confirmed the ROM path to the ROMs is here, and we've done an audit of all of the uh, ROMs that we've got there. Um, so anything in green, which would be gauntlets, and where is that gone? I've gone too quick. The gauntlet all in green, so that will work. So when we go to start Hyperspin, though, um, it should work. So let's go up to Hyperspin. Let's give it a try. So this is the pretty front end, if you remember correctly, whereas the rocket launcher is the engine. Um, Hyperspin will start up. Uh, boom, boom, you can hit Escape here, skip this front page. And there's MAME. Now, I haven't installed all of the, uh, the graphics and stuff like that yet, but I'm going to start MAME up. Um, as you can see, now the list of main games are the ones that we've installed, which is just Gauntlet. So if you ever need to update this, you can put some additional ROMs in your ROM directory. You would then go and redo the audit of the games, they will turn green, then you come back to Hyperspin, and then you'll have your game. So let's start up, uh, let's start up Gauntlet, uh, make sure that works. Press enter to start it. Okay, brilliant. This is the error I wanted to show you. Rocket Launcher doesn't know about the main.xml. So this is a really simple fix. Let me just show you how to do that. So this will pop out of this uh, screen here. Um, what we need to do, um, inside of the MAME directory, uh, under databases, under MAME, you've got the MAME XML. So what we need to do in the Rocket Launcher directory under databases, it's really simple. We just need to copy that MAME directory and drop it into the Rocket Launcher databases directory. So pop that straight across, close those two windows, come back into Hyperspin, hit enter on our Gauntlet 2 game. Um, I then hit enter and it'll start a window up because I've told it to go into a windowed version so I can record it. There's Gauntlet and hopefully number two will come. There we go. F5 for some, oh, sorry, five for some credits. Uh, up there left to right to pick your character. I'll be an elf and then 
we need to start. There we go, running around. So that's now working. Um, you could have two players on there. Um, next thing I'm going to show you uh, is how to configure the Xbox 360 controllers to work with MAME. Uh, but that will be the next video. So uh, we come out, we go back to MAME, come out again and you can go to one of our other emulators. Okay guys, that's the end of the second uh, episode in this series. I hope you found it useful. So that's now configuring MAME, getting your ROMs working with Rocket Launcher and with Hyperspin. Um, the third video, which will be in the next couple of days, will be how to get your Xbox 360 controllers working with it. And then between the third and the fourth video, depending on how we do it, we'll then try and get it working on our projector and then we can have a little play. Hope that's useful to see you guys. Thanks a lot, see you next time. Bye for now.